What's up everybody, Garrett back here. What I wanna talk about today is something that we've been wanting for a long time, a new edition of Martin. Martin is a George A. Romero film that was from 1977, and it's kind of a fan favorite. So we've been wanting a new edition of Martin, and Second Sight Films, who does great work, uh, they announced they were going to do Martin, and the big thing about this edition was they announced that they were going to try to get that director's cut. I think it was a black and white director's cut um, of Martin, a lot longer edition. Um, the one that everybody's been wanting for a long time, because we know that there's other footage out there. But unfortunately, they could not get that footage. I guess the person who owns it just wanted too much money for it. They couldn't come to some kind of agreement. Well, unfortunately, we just got what we're used to getting when it comes to this film. But they still said they were going to come out with anyways. It was going to go to 4K. They were going to give us a nice, beautiful edition that this movie really deserves. And uh, that's what I got here. And I guess this is starting to become hard to come by now, this big edition. I know there's other editions and stuff, but it seems like this one is getting a little bit harder to come by. So as you can see... Uh, this is a real cool image. It's got kind of like one of those poster arts image here. I love the white. Uh, it's got the big spine. It's got almost like that second sight or arrow type of box there. And then as you can see, there's a lot of stuff inside. So this thing is packed uh, with special features. I mean, there's different documentaries on here. There's like a full length documentary thing about 70 minutes long, which is really cool. And that alone really helps this out because... When it comes to the transfer, in my opinion, I wasn't that impressed with it. Uh, and I saw a couple people talk about they really liked it, and other people said they really didn't. So my honest opinion, I wasn't impressed too much with the transfer on this. But I guess when it comes to the film itself, the original camera negative is, is not available. So what they had to use to source this 4K wasn't the original camera negative. So um, again, it just felt really grainy. It was dark. Is it the best Martin's ever looked? I would say maybe, but I wasn't sure. So what I did was I went and grabbed this DVD and put this in. And in my head, I'm thinking, wow, the DVD quality must have been so bad if this just didn't look that great. Because when you see other 4K transfers come out and see how well they can really look. And then when I saw this one, I was like, eh, it doesn't really feel like the same kind of 4K. But again, I'm also saying that what they were able to use as their film elements uh, just maybe didn't make that possible. But again, it doesn't look that much greater than this DVD, in my opinion. Um, it looks a little bit different, but I wouldn't say it's leaps and bounds better uh, than what we had here. Now, do I think, is this worth it? Is this worth it? Even with the quality of the picture, not what I wanted. Like I said, I heard other people really happy with it. This is just a personal opinion. Um, I'm not a huge video audio guy, so I might not know the ins and outs of all this stuff, but all I'm saying is from my eyes visually, I thought we were going to get a little bit of a better image uh, with this movie. Now, do I think it's worth it? Uh, it depends. If you're a huge completionist with George Romero stuff, Second Sight always does a beautiful job. I would rather have this on my shelf than this. Also, too, what you get with this, like I said, the special features, there's a ton of stuff here. There's documentaries, multiple documentaries on here. Uh, one that's like a feature-length documentary that's got a ton of great information that they put into this. you got audio commentaries. There's a lot of stuff built into this box set as well. So, again, if you're a big fan of this movie, you get a book. And now this book is, look at our image, how nice that is. On the back, the rosaries there. And this is no joke. This is a full length book here with pictures i mean this is the real deal so again if you really want to know a lot more about this movie you get this book in here which i'm going to tell you right now it is 104 pages long you also get this fold out here now you see it says martin and white on the back it's got that razor blade with the teeth again now look you get three discs you get a blu-ray a 4k and a soundtrack on there and again, a lot of these movies come with stills and stuff like that, but these are like art prints. Like, look at these art cards, how beautiful these look here. I don't want the glare. These are really, really nice. So yeah, so you get a lot of stuff in there. Now, do I recommend Martin? Uh, yeah, I think this is the best you're going to get when it comes to this movie overall. Uh, even though I wasn't impressed so much with the picture quality, what you get in here is totally worth it, in my opinion. But, like I said, I've liked this movie for years and years and years. Being a huge Romero fan, he was one of the he was one of the directors that I fell in love with when I really started getting into horror. So, 
Martin was really special to me just because, again, I was watching all Romero's stuff back there. Now, if you've never seen this movie, do I say you're going to love it? I'm not going to say that. I think Martin is going to have a specific group of people that it caters to. I don't think this is going to be something that everybody's going to like. So that's just my honest opinion. I think it's a beautiful addition from Second Sight Films. They always do a great job. Again, Martin is not your average kind of vampire movie. So I want you to take that with a grain of salt if you haven't seen it. Now, if you have seen this and you have this edition, let me know down below, what did you think of it? I'm curious about the picture itself because I've heard people from both ends of the spectrum that love it and that hate it. So I'm in the more of like the wasn't impressed camp. I didn't hate it. But again, I was just expecting something a little bit more. So again, I don't want to talk too much about this. I just wanted to showcase it, just give you my first thoughts and review. Again, this is the new Martin 4K from Second Sight Films. This is that deluxe limited edition. Next time I talk about one of these Second Sight Films, it's, it's probably going to be for the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre because I do have that pre-order as well. So really excited to see what they do with that. This is Garrett at Born to be Rad, and like always, stay 